how to cross the 59th Street Bridge in New York while playing feeling groovy and making it sound real. Now apparently you have to slow down. <laughs> Now this is a great song for practicing your strumming and picking technique. The same riff runs throughout the entire song. Three chords, uh, although the shapes I use are slightly non-standard, we are playing it in B flat here. The underlying chord shape I'm using here is this C sus4. C sus4 isn't actually in the song, but when it's combined with the uh, the bass line, which I maintain on the uh, uh, low G string, it fits in very well. So it's now what I've done is earlier on I recorded myself playing the song and I singled out three different playing styles that I was using that we could go back on. I have annotated them in the low G strumming language, dum dee da dee dum dee da dee so on, all that type of stuff, and it will allow you to go and recreate these uh, playing styles, get some very quick results, I think, and master the song. Let's make a start. <laughs> Now the first pattern is uh, purely uh, finger picking only and because of the way I have those pauses in the timing it's ideal for an introduction. It's as if it's something that's revving up and ready to start. So in low G uh, strumming language the the pattern is this dum dee dee dum dee dee dum dee dum dum da dum dee dee dum dee dee dum dee dum dum da Okay, so the second playing style again is all picking bar that final da at the end of the pattern. Now, uh, what you'll uh, notice there though is is that the momentum is uh, has built up. Dum di dum di dum di dum di dum di dum dum da. Dum di dum di dum di dum di dum di dum dum da. It really sort of invokes that skipping down the cobblestones line and as far as I'm aware there were never any cobblestones on the 59th Street Bridge but poetic license allows him to put them there. Now the third playing style is the busiest of all. It's mostly strumming but still having an emphasis on that G string as it, uh, as the notes move. Your upward index finger picks, Ds are now upstrokes and your uh, dums are now a combination of a dum and a downstroke. So it's like this. Dum dee dum dee dum. Dum dee dum dee dum dee da dee dum dee da dee dum dee dum da dee da dee dum dee dum dee dum. The way I'm getting that uh, emphasis on the G string is that while that is my uh, uh, downstroke movement, I actually put my thumb there, just sticking out a bit beyond the index finger, so that when I'm going down, I'm catching the G string with my thumb, and the rest of the strings are being stroked by the other three fingers. So that's how that works. Now you might ask, 
What about that section where it says, I've got no deeds to do and no promises to keep. I'm dappled and drowsy and ready to sleep. Well, the same riff, the same playing style, everything holds. Although it might not be, uh, you know, obvious to start with. Have a listen. I've got no deeds to do, no promises to keep. I'm dappled and drowsy and ready to sleep. If I'm on a time drop, it's pedals on me. Oh, and before I forget, those of you subscribed to patreon.com slash channel, I will have some extra videos posted up there that you can play along with as practice aids. And the usual uh, lyric and chord sheet will be there and I'll have those rhythm patterns documented so that you'll be able to follow them even if you're not watching the video. So plenty of stuff there for you to practice. Now if you would recommend this video as a lesson for other ukulele players, do press like on YouTube. On that note, let me wish you good luck with the song and I'll see you all again soon.